still fun to be a player when you do this for a living? Does it change the experience uh, about being required versus something that you do by choice or for fun? Does it take the excitement out when, uh, when you're on the clock, so to speak? As I said before, it becomes quite monotonous if you are working on the same game for a good length of time. So patience is definitely a virtue. However, the project eventually ends and we are on some other platform testing some other fun game and hence compared with any other jobs, I guess it is less monotonous. We also have the zeal to provide a better product to the end user, which delays the work being monotonous. And yes, both the experiences are different. While working, we find bugs, follow the test cases, which is not the case while we are playing for fun. While playing for fun, we ignore the bugs that come right at the screens because it is our playtime and we tend to stay away from the bugs. When you get a group of gamers together in one room, inevitably there seems to be a competitive streak that arises. Is there competition there for you at work and uh, a, a need to prove who is the best? Yes, a lot. But it is a very healthy competition and we are all ready to help each other. Team's performance rises if every individual is competing and still working for the interest of the team. Besides this, we also have certain quarterly tournaments among ourselves and at times among different studios. During my research about you, I've noticed that there's a poet with your name online and uh, maybe a small amount of poems, but seem to be very popular, are coming up a lot on uh, the search engines. So is this you? And can you tell me more about that? I see that you have researched well before compiling this interview. Yes, that Vipindrasal is me. And I just used to write my thoughts. I had a small diary which I sadly lost before the poems on it were copied anywhere else. Haven't written anything from quite a while. So those nine little poems are all I currently have. Ah, so you are the poet. So what are your inspirations for these poems? And what is the reaction of the people that read them? Inspirations? Yes, I had a few. My first crush, my cousin's wedding, and many more. Overall, the reaction of the readers was good. They wanted more, but I guess they will have to wait more. Now, most of us, if you would ask what we do in our downtime or what we do to relax, we would say we play games. However, if you're doing that all day long, 24-7, I'm wondering what you do for fun. How do you enjoy yourself? For fun, I play more games. That also adds to the research and study. We also go for movies, trips, and occasional parties. Is there anything else you'd like to share with us as we're getting ready to close? One thing I would like to share that I have seen dreams come true. Believe me, hard work and dedication is the key. And the rest you will learn along the way. And if games are that what you want, then it is quite possible. And yeah, one more thing. I won't be a game tester from Monday onwards. I have been promoted as a compliance specialist for PS3. And Jen, it has to be PS3 for me. Thanks for having me here and share my thoughts. Play hard, work harder, and die happy. Bye-bye. Well, congratulations to Vipin on his new and exciting news of his promotion. So hopefully he'll go on to play some fun and exciting PS3 games and tell us more about that. But thank you to him for giving us that glimpse inside the world of game testers and a little bit of culture from around the world. Very nice. If you'd like to leave some feedback or keep up with the news, you can find me on Twitter at Gray Area Podcast, at Facebook slash Gray Area Podcast, or on iTunes. If you have any gray areas in your relationships or just any new perspective, email your questions, advice, or suggestions to genesegray at yahoo.com. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you next week with a new episode. Alright, John, let's go play Mass Effect 3. Thank you, anyone listening, and Twitch.